In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure your SIM priority. This is useful in the case that multiple SIMs are being used, and if you would like to prioritize one SIM over another. This can be extremely beneficial for continuous connectivity, as you can have a backup connection ready to be deployed in case of any emergency. Also, this setting can help for limiting data usage, directly helping you save costs. It is important to keep in mind that each cellular module can only have one active SIM card. For this demo, I'll be using two active SIM cards inserted into two separate modules. It is important to note that Cellular 1 cannot access the SIM in Cellular 2 because they are in separate modules. The same logic applies to Cellular 2. Firstly, you need to open up your web admin page. Then on Dashboard, click Cellular 1 and then scroll down to Cellular Settings. Here you can select both SIMs in the SIM card section as you want your device to be able to use both SIMs. In the preferred SIM card section, you can select which SIM you want to prioritize and which SIM you want to use as your backup SIM. The backup SIM will then be set to the standby SIM, meaning that once the SIMs in your preferred SIM card slot fail or disconnect, then the SIMs in the standby slot will automatically activate. In some cases, users may want to control or limit their data usage. This setting can be found in the same cellular settings section. Here, you have the option to enable bandwidth allowance monitor. Once enabled, you can choose the action, such as SIM should disconnect after reaching 100%, or that you need to reserve the SIM for traffic management when the usage hits 100%. For this setting, you can also set the start day for each month, as well as the monthly allowance in gigabytes.